Hi, I'm Sharon, and this is Knit Style. Hi, everybody, and welcome to episode 134 of Knit Style. I'm so glad you joined me today. Today is December 5th, 2016, and it's a Monday. And yeah, I kind of ran out of time to record over the weekend, so sometimes when I do that, I record on Mondays. So I have been doing Vlogmas, and I have my other camera actually recording right over there, <laughs> getting behind the scenes of how I record my shows. So yeah, anyway... Vlogmas has been awesome. It's in day five right now, and it's been a very interesting experience so far. It's a lot of work. Your family might get mad at you. <laughs> well, my family's been fine. Um, and yeah, it's, it's kind of challenging, and I think it's great to challenge your creative skills because you have to kind of make each day look interesting and my life is very mundane and I'm trying to make it look interesting for my target audience so yeah it's been it's been cool it's been fun and I'm sticking with it today is day five and I'm just about three quarters of the way done with my vlog for today and then the editing comes <laughs> so what I do is I record the vlog on the day and then the next day I edit and upload because I couldn't possibly record and edit and upload all in one day because I'm a working girl. Okay, so I have some shawls today that I rescued from the island of misfit shawls or more aptly named my storage bins. And I'm not really sure why I didn't bring these shawls out for the fall, but I didn't. So as I start talking, maybe it'll become clear. So the first one is this beautiful shawl. This pattern is the Here Comes the Sun Shawl by Diana Rosenschettin. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but anyway. So I will put it in the down bar here. And it was actually a shawl class that I took. I completed this in January of 2012, so it was my 2011 Christmas knit, and it's a little big on me, but I like how I styled it today. I just kind of wrapped it around and secured it with a shawl pin, and thankfully it's thick enough that my shawl pin didn't come off, which I have problems with shawl pins doing that. And I'm glad it didn't because it's a glass shawl pin. And it's a very beautiful shawl pin that my husband had bought for me three Rhinebecks ago. So, yeah, I love this pin. So, I don't know why I didn't take it out for the season, but I'm happy I did. I'm going to be wearing it a lot. Uh, I'm going to try to wear it more this winter because I tend not to wear reds unless it's the holiday season, which is silly. It's ridiculous. My mother always told me I looked good in red, so I don't know why I don't wear it more. Anyway, so I'm, I really enjoyed this today. I got lots of compliments on it. Okay, second shawl I want to show you is the Tan House Brook Shawl. And this is a pattern by Jennifer Lassonde. Awesome pattern. Fantastic pattern for showing off multicolored, variegated yarns. Love this. The reason I didn't take it out was because it's made out of hand spun, which I absolutely love. The hand spun was from Into the World. Beautiful hand spun. But the fabric's getting a little pilly, and it's annoying me. So the fiber was merino and bamboo, and the, the ba merino bamboo isn't holding up as well as my merino silk blends or my just plain wool blends. 
yeah, I don't know if I'd spin this again, this this fiber again, the bamboo. So, but the shawl's beautiful. I'll wear it at some point when I wear these colors. And the third shawl is actually one of my masterpieces. It's actually a prize-winning shawl. It won first prize in the lace category, I believe, at Rhinebeck. I should have brought my ribbon with me <laughs> to show you. It wasn't at Rhinebeck, I'm sorry. It was at the Dutchess County Fair. And I believe that was in 2012. And this is my Aeolian, my lace weight Aeolian. It is ginormous. It has about 2,500 beads. And it's stunning. I should wear it more. I'm going to. This has inspired me to wear my bigger shawls. I just need to learn to style them better. But I love this pattern. Aeolian's just the most beautiful shawl pattern. And it's not that hard, really. I mean, it's got noops, it has beads. You don't have to do either if you don't want to. I think it adds to it, obviously. Adds to the beauty of the pattern if you do. But I actually taught this shawl as a class. I taught a shawl class when we used this pattern. And yeah, that's it in all its glory. Woohoo! It's huge. And yeah, I'm only 5'3", so these giant shawls, it's bigger than my wingspan for sure. Way bigger. These giant shawls, I just have to learn how to style better. So, these shawls are out from the Island of Misfit Shawls. <laughs> They've been freed, and they're in my closet, ready to be worn. All right, let's talk about works in progress. Actually, I have a finished object. If you've been watching my vlogs, you will have seen this in action. And this is my Open Skies hat by Mina Phillips. And I could not be happier with this hat. It is the perfect running hat. It's double thickness here, and it keeps my ears so nice and warm, and it's just the right size. I made, I did, there, she wrote it as a slouchy pattern, but she gave modifications to make it less slouchy. I did the less slouchy version, so it wouldn't flop around on my head as I'm running, and it's fantastic. So here it is on. I love it. Blue is definitely a good color for me. And here's the cable at the top. And just a little bit of slouch. And I'm thrilled with this hat. I'll be wearing this hat all winter long. It matches my coat and you'll see that when you watch my vlog. Okay, so like I said, love this. All right, something that I wasn't loving this week, but I'm loving it now, were my Christmas socks. Again, if you've been watching my vlogs, you saw me start these, and you also saw me you didn't actually see me rip them out, but you saw the aftermath of me ripping them out. So I started them, increased up to 40 stitches, way too big, way, way, because this is a bulky. So I'm now at 32 stitches. I ripped the whole thing out because I didn't like the toe. The toe was very pointy how I knit it, and this toe is nice and round it a little. I cast out, a, I, instead of casting on four, I cast on six. Did a, a different increase here. I did the increase where you lift up the bar between stitches and knit into that. I think I did left leaning 
on both sides, left-leaning increases, and I think it made for a rounder toe somehow. I don't know. But I love it, and I'm thrilled with it, and I've started the second color, and I'm hoping these will fly off the needles because Christmas is coming, and my feet are cold. So um, it's loosely based on the foot ovens pattern by the Yarn Harlot, which of course I didn't bother to read before I cast it on. And I was using my my foot from the Fish Lips Kiss Heel pattern. And it was just, I increased a little bit too much past this line. And they're too, they were too big. So whatever, that was my fault. So now they're perfect. I mean, you don't want them overly tight either. Yeah, they're perfect. Because they're, they're going to stretch a little bit. I know that from past experience. Because they're alpaca. And alpaca doesn't have any memory. It's 100% baby alpaca. So, I love them now. They're so beautiful. And I will put a red heel in and a red cuff in. And I'm excited. It's my car knitting. Okay. Next, I gave a little love to my Pearless Shawl by Romy Hill. And it's coming along. I need to do five of these lace points. I've completed four of the lace points and I'm starting on the fifth right here. Hopefully you can see that right here. So, this is Woolen Vine Yarns in her Sparkle Base. I think it's Blitzed Base. And it is the Gashley Crumb colorway. And I'm really enjoying it. And I'm not rushing through this one at all. Because it's just, you know, my relaxation knitting. When I feel like working on something special and sparkly. Can you see the sparkle in that? It's gold. So, love it. And it's going well. So as soon as I finish the fifth point, I'll be ready to start the edging, the other side of the edging, and I'll be done. So, just finding the time to knit on it is the issue. <laughs> the only other thing, knitting-wise, I've been working on is my I've been working on my hand spun Nuvum and it's just a big blob but you can see how stunningly beautiful it is I mean, look at those colors. Awesome. So, yeah, I'm loving that. And I actually lied. I have two other things that I did work on this week, and I have to go get them. They're downstairs. <laughs> Okay, so on Friday I had to go up to Poughkeepsie for jury duty and I had mentioned last week that I was kind of afraid to bring knitting needles in there and it would have been fine because we never entered the courtroom because the courtroom was busy so that was okay but I got a little chance to work on my crochet blanket I didn't get a lot done but it's so pretty, and I'm really enjoying it. And I will definitely be continuing working on that. So I got about two minis put in there. I got this self striper, so it's purple, orange, black, and green over here. And then I put in the leftovers from my sock. That I just finished my Halloween sock by Knitting in Color 
and so yeah that's on the edge so I'm gonna keep working on this and it's so fun it's just a never-ending granny square blanket super fun and I'm liking this ergonomic crochet hook really enjoying it so I have a beautiful bag of minis in here and now I want to work on it now that I pulled it out. <laughs> so the last thing I'm going to show you is my other pair of Halloween socks that are in mid-row, of course. I'm almost finished with the first sock. And these are a sock blank by Gail's Art, and I adore them. They are beautiful. Look sparkle speckles neon what's not to love and this is the pattern i bought this at rhinebeck and they're awesome they're so much fun to work on so doubtful that i'll finish these anytime soon but you never know I could have a meeting where I'm just sitting there. <laughs> Who knows? So, yeah. So that's a lot for one week, actually. I mean, the Nuvum is what's taking up all of my time. I'm really trying to get five grams done a night. I'm not so successful with that. But I'm trying, because I would love to finish it before Vogue Knitting Live. So we shall see. As a matter of fact, let's talk about Vogue Knitting Live. I will be at Vogue Knitting Live the entire weekend. I am leaving Thursday evening, taking the train down to New York City. I'm staying right at the Courtyard Marriott on Times Square, where the event is being held, which I am super excited about. The hotel is beautiful, and I'm really excited about staying there. A good friend of mine is coming with me, and we're sharing a room, and I'm taking three classes. So I can't think off the top of my head what they are right now. Oh, oh let me think. One is a class by Romy Hill on fixing lace knitting. Perfect for me. Most people would be like, no, <laughs> but I love that kind of stuff, so I'm excited. I am taking a shawl design class from Susan B. Anderson, and I am taking a dyeing class with Felicia Lowe from Sweet Georgia Yarns, so I am super excited. <sighs> so I hope to see some of you there, and we're going to have meetups, and I'll meet a lot of, I'll see a lot of my knitting friends at the event, so it's going to be an awesome weekend. Plus, it's my birthday. <laughs> Let's also talk about the knit along now that we started talking about events. I'm hosting a knit along in my group. It's a holiday knit along. Very easy. Just finish an object that has something to do with holidays. It could be holiday knitting for a gift, it could be holiday knitting for yourself. It could be something that has red in it. I would like it to be at least 200 yards. And yeah, post your finished objects in the Epo thread. There's a bunch of them posted now. Some beautiful things, you guys. Really nice. Whips count, which is awesome. One post per person, but you can post more than one item in there just so I can see all the pretty things. And I'll probably have the drawing sometime around New Year's-ish. And there's also a chatter thread. And at some point during this month, I will do a drawing from the chatter thread. And you will win a skein of my hand-dyed yarn. Okay. Speaking of hand-dyed yarn, let me show you what I bought this week. I bought something and I dyed some things. Okay. So, I have opened the package, but I have not looked inside, and this yarn was dyed by Kirby Werby Yarns, by Cherie of Kirby Werby, and she happened to have an update the other day, I saw it on Instagram, 
and I jumped on it because she hasn't been dying in a while and she dyes absolutely beautiful, rich, saturated colors, which I absolutely love. And she also does beautiful self-striping yarn, so I tried to grab a self-striping and I was successful and it sold out within maybe three minutes. So I, I was really thrilled that I was able to buy this. So I haven't seen it yet, so I'm super excited. Ooh, just so happy and ro rainbowy. I love self-striping yarn. I don't really knit socks with variegate, variegated yarns very often because quite frankly, I get super bored with them. I mean, I'll knit a sock blank, but normally I've really been concentrating on knitting with self-striping lately because it's just so entertaining. So this colorway is called Dip Those Toes. Perfect for winter sock knitting. Gorgeous. So it's 450 yards. It's a four ply. 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, and this is her logo. Kirby Werby Yarns, and she's just an amazing dyer. So I'm really excited about it. And I also may have just placed an order with Mustache this week. She had a beautiful update, and I got some. I'll show you when they come in. They're, they're just unbelievable. She just takes self-striping to another level, Stacy. Un unbelievable yarn. I love hers, so I had to have it, even though I'm trying not to buy yarn, but oh well. I do not dye self-striping yet. Seems a little labor intensive. Maybe when I retire, I will look into figuring that out. But in the meantime, I am doing my speckle dyeing and my kettle dyeing, and I'm really enjoying it. Oh, speaking of dyeing, again, with the vlogs, yesterday's vlog, Vlogmas Day 4, I show a little bit of my dyeing process, and I dyed these that day. So this is my one of my Christmas colorways or holiday colorways and this is ribbon candy and I dyed it up on my four ply base which is lovely I love this base it just makes fantastic socks I wore socks today with this and they knit up not too thick which I love and this yarn just has so many different colors. Just happy, happy holiday ribbon candy colors. I love it. And I have another one on my two-ply base. Just beautiful. Reds and greens, but also teal and purple, little bits of orange, fuchsia, just so pretty. Just like ribbon candy. You want to eat it. And my friend placed a custom order with me. And my friend is sewing bags. And she's got the sewing bug back. She just, she's just been sewing. She enjoys sewing bags. So she's giving them out as gifts for Christmas. So she texted me a picture of a bag and she asked me if I could match it. So I said, I'll try. So the bag is pink, white, and black, black. So I'll, maybe I'll insert a picture so you can see. And I think I nailed it. So this one is going to be called Girly Goth. It has lots of, well not lots, it has subtle black speckles and the base color is just this beautiful muted pink and it has some white and some very muted dove gray.
and I love it. I think it came out awesome. So I'm going to let, I dyed two skeins of it. I'm going to let her pick which one she wants. And the other skein is going to go up in my shop. And I think this will be a regular if you guys like it. Because I just love it. It just has just subtle colors. Just beautiful colors. I love pink and gray. I love a beautiful dove gray. So, yep, that's girly goth. I can't wait to bring it to work tomorrow to show my friend. Okay, so that is it, you guys. I'm going to go have dinner and I'm going out to teach knitting tonight. <laughs> My life is getting busy. It really is. It's crazy. I need to retire. My husband said today we have 124 more days, working days, before we retire. He gives me the countdown every day, which is amazing. So I hope you guys have a good week. Check out the vlogs if you haven't already. And enjoy. Cheers.